Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Researchers from MBARI, the University of Hawaii at M. NOAA M. NOAA and Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, after years of development and testing, the results of this research effort were recently published in Science Robotics. Autonomous robotic fleets enable researchers to observe complex systems in ways that are otherwise impossible with purely ship-based or remote sensing techniques. In a time when the COVID-19 pandemic is reducing opportunities for researchers to go to sea, autonomous fleets offer an effective way to maintain a persistent presence in features of interest. Oceanic microbes are essential players in the global climate system, producing roughly half of the world's oxygen, removing carbon dioxide, and forming the base of the marine food web. Phytoplankton, a kind of microscopic algae, thrive when these eddies spin counterclockwise in the northern hemisphere and bring nutrient-rich water from the depths up toward the surface. The research challenge facing our interdisciplinary team of scientists and engineers was to figure out researchers have struggled to study the DCM because at depths of more than 100 meters 328 feet, it, moreover, the position of the DCM can shift more than 30 meters 98 feet vertically in just a few hours. This variability in time and space requires technology that can embed itself in and around the DCM and follow the microbial community as it drifts in the ocean currents. Ed DeLong and David Carl, oceanography professors in the UM, NOAA School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology SOEST, and co-authors of the study, have been researching these microbes for decades. Open ocean eddies can have a huge impact on microbes, but until now we haven't been able to observe them in this moving frame of reference, he explained. During the Simons collaboration on Ocean Processes and Ecology Scope, eddy experiment in March and April 20, they deployed a high-tech team of three robots, two long-range autonomous underwater vehicles, LRAUVs, and one-wave glider surface vehicle, from the Schmidt Ocean Institute's SOI research vessel Falcor. The first LRAUV, named Aku, acted as the primary sampling robot. It was programmed to locate, track, and sample the DCM. The second LRAUV, named OPA, acoustically tracked AKU and spiraled vertically around it to collect crucial information about the environment surrounding the DCM. A wave glider surface robot, named MOLA, also tracked AKU with sonar and communicated with the science team aboard the Falcor. This work is really the fulfillment of a decades-long vision, said MBARI. Sholin has been engaged in this effort since he was an MBARI postdoctoral researcher seeking to develop autonomous sampling technology for marine systems. Coordinating a robotic fleet to show how microbial communities react to changing conditions is a game-changer when it comes Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.